2026, the year that PSG won the Champions League and Leeds United got top three. It's also the year they got a top three goal scorer in Angel Correa and second assister in Sinistera, top clean sheet keeper Meslier. And Champions League football, we've got to repeat that. And the way we may do it this year after pre-season, Norwich City, Watford and Manchester United. With an extended team, a lot on international duty, which we can ignore, but some players coming back, like Kian Green looks fantastic. Jonathan Hogg, of course, Howells, Curtis Little and Clark. And board objectives, of course. There's the youth. Then they want one young player signing a streak of five games without defeat. They want us to reach the Champions League final. This will be our final season with Leeds United, so it will be good if we could reach it and win it, as they want us to win the Prem, win the FA Cup, and keep salary growth down. Winning everything with that squad. That's an objective and a half, you know, as region fully scouted and 194 million in the bank. Right. Now I understand the names a little bit more. And we begin with an approach for Maximilian Vober from Watford. No, nope, not accepting it, despite me thinking he hasn't grown enough. As Lindstrom, me thinks bids are going to fly in with our Champions League status, but no, staying at Leeds. Did they get Champions League? I don't know. As Fran Garcia is now even better at right back. As look at that bid for Logan Field. That's decent money. But I do want to still use the youngsters, despite where we are in our competitions. We'll definitely need a thicker squad if we're going to keep on winning this season. And yes, that's thicker than just the three lines of reserves. So I think we kick it off with a bang. Guilherme de Oliveira from Marseille. A regen, but a left-footed centre-back at 6'3". Another Brazilian to go with Ibanez. It's too good to be true. All the fives with 55.5 offered. They want 82. Oh dear. 65.5 plus the 5% release clause will be good enough. We've added the bonuses, decent bonuses as there it goes. Contract easily negotiated, five years. It's a shame we're only going to get the one out of him, but what a signing for the final year. Welcome, Oliviera. Welcome to the best place in England. And a big offer here, Julian Alvarez. It's 45.1 million from Real Madrid. Plus Hyun Min Son. Now, I think they've got to just offer money straight up. And a lot of money. Because Son, I don't want here at Leeds. So offer 103. I don't think they will. Oh, but they have. But they have. And even bitter rivals. Manchester United putting in a bid for Wilfred Nonso. Now, that's another turn down. Not to the rivals. Why is everyone wanting our players? Batiste for McKenney. No. Instead, I prefer one of their players, Facundo Farias, to be exact. He's a smallish one, but then Correa's really small, so it's two small players. I'm in the middle. One we definitely want to sign is Camille Bourgeois, though, because he is a young Frenchman and will complete the objectives of a young player. Although I did just delegate two million. And they turned it down straight away. In the meantime, however, we've gone and got the striker that we probably did need. Benjamin Sesco. He's a tall man, six foot four, a little bit lower rated than Correa, so we'll know his role as a bench striker, and we can afford the replacement for Morata, who's getting old and not taking Tyler Adams off our hands. As they've walked away though on 40 million. I don't get it. We'll hang fire on them, as is this Alvarez. I think it is. I can tell by the back of the quiff. Yep, Julian Alvarez has gone for 104 million to Real Madrid. Doesn't matter if we're in the Champions League, we cannot stop them powerhouses. Adds to our money, but minus a winger. So hopefully in should come Marcus Edwards, ex-Tottenham. He's still in the Portuguese League. He's 85 rated. He's left-footed. But he is a right winger. Offer his evaluation bang on. We don't want him walking away. Everyone wants Tyler Adams, but no. I'll just I'll just offer that 50.6. So they accept 51.3. Okay. I do think Nonto is quality, but we do need someone of more quality, and we're gonna offer him 70k. So we're getting one season out of him. And he is a huge addition to the Leeds United front line. Bienvenido, Marcus Edwards. He's even got the good animation. As he signs a match ball. And that's a lot of money spent. Even a big offering for Alexandra Barr. And we have just got Hogg into the team. But with four competitions we're in, 
Probably could do with three right backs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Hogg could play where we told him. As Miranda as well from Villarreal. He is not going back home, despite how bad he was playing. All the lads came into their element last season at the end. So Iglesias is not going, and Nonto. I want to keep a lot of us together. Another offering for Wobin. Now, we do have Strik. We do have Kaiki as backup. So I do think now we could officially let Woba go. Can the team do it in pre-season? They can, beating Borussia Dortmund. And there goes Wober out the club. He's in a brilliant service, but no longer needed as a backup player. And look at that. We've made Haider bad luck. Haider good. What is that result in preseason? And we're approaching the first game of the season against Norwich. Bar still approached even by rivals Tottenham. The history of the Tottenham. As the man who were on loan at Norwich last season, Alfie Curtis is going to St. Etienne. And I don't think they'll play in the first game, but we definitely need to get these two signed up if we can. A backup striker is non-existent. So offering 50 million for Benny Boy, they want Miranda. No one takes Miranda. 50 million, bang on. Accepted second time round. And he takes that rotation role. This man knows what part he's going to play in this squad. He can have a high wage because it's the final season. The slick back hair of Sesco is a Leeds United one. He belongs to us now. He's our property. He is our striker to score them goals off the bench. Taking the budget down to 152 million. There wasn't anything saying we had to save that was the financial. Ooh. I don't think we've kept growth down. And here is that signing of the youngster from Celta Vigo. Camille Bourgeois for 3.1. Nice to have him in the squad. Look how stacked this team is. It's just a cam. But our cam is a youngster in McGregor. Brilliant squad. Now we've fixed his defence. We've got a replacement in for the leaving. What was his name now? Alvarez. I, I could even forget. Correa's going up ratings. This team is amazing. Sinistera, I'm still not deciding on because he's good in simulations, which hopefully he's good in to start off with. We're going to do the highlights against Norwich City and simulate, then play United. So let's get going with away at Carrow Road for our first game and Norwich City start off with a chance. I don't like this. They shouldn't really be in it in Kuame. He scored in the cup to knock us out last year and he scored against Meslier straight away. The first thing that happened since we build the mega squad is Norwich City scoring. That is embarrassing. That is embarrassing. Statch with a pass straight into Miranda. We don't get there. Camelo instead. Kwame. Oh, we need to try and get a tackle across. Just keep chasing it. Garcia is literally off the field taking it. He's walked through the barrier. And it's a decent ball towards Weston McKenney. Just strike that first time, Ibanez. It didn't work out, but the ball still's fallen back to us. And this move... Will count Sinistera into Lindstrom. Muller with an amazing save. McKenney though. Let's get going again. Here he is. A pass around the corner. McKenney, you're better than that. A lot better. Here we go though, Marcus Edwards. Oh my. Has he just seriously tripped when we threw on goal? We can't beat Norwich City. Let this sink in. We lost five games all year last year and we're losing the first one to, what is it, a recently promoted team, I'm pretty sure, or maybe they survived last season. Lindstrom, though, oh my, we've still got a chance. Oh, it's them with a the corner. We've lost. They beat us in the cup last season. They will cross it in and Meslier will catch, but Norwich City have actually won on opening day. Because we've highlighted it, it hasn't sunk in. How much of an embarrassment that's been. It's now less what happens against Man United and just... More about the league in general. Did everything the board wanted as well. Kian Green, we've got two young cams. We can let him go out on loan just for a little bit. I'll call him back if he turns out good. Watford, do not let me down in a quick sim, lads. These lost their first game of the season. I expect an instant response, and there we go. Saved it very late against 10 men. McKenney, lads. This start to the season's got me a bit shaky. And next it is Man United, so... Need some points. That is a bid from PSG, though. So, I think we'll ask for 40 million. And if they pay, they can have bar. Because we ultimately can't stop the Champions League winners. A Simeone in offer from Brighton. We've got Monato. We've got Jeldad. We've got Sesco. We've got Correa. Simeone is going to send his son to the coast. To play for the team that will be losing a quarterfinal in the FA Cup to Grimsby. Of course, I'm I'm being really exaggerated, sorry there, and very optimistic. I don't think we'll win, but 
Oh, the thought of it. It's just like a McAllister. So, hmm, ooh, ah, the team is very tired. Strike. Strike might have to be the call, you know, and definitely Nonto for one of the wingers. I might take Sinister out, but he's experienced against United. And he scored last time we faced them. So, yeah, he will start with Nonto and Strike. It's a team that's experienced against them in the 3-0 win last season. So, that's what I'm gambling on to beat them this. On to the big guns. So, let's go. Let's go. Let's beat Manchester United. We've already done it before. We do it again. Easy as that. Simple dimples. Calvin Phillips has been caught on the ball to start off with those. Jonathan David, Danny Olmo, they're responding to each other. No, 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 the Canadian didn't play well against us last time. None of them did. But they have managed to get the first shot off here. Danny Olmo twisting and turning onto Christian Pulisic. Running around the house as Alfonso Davies. As Jonathan David, no. That caught us so off guard. That was just a turn in the middle. And the rivals have the first goal. He's got an in-game face now as David. And he's got an in-game goal. It was a great pass through, but it just caught everyone off guard. And now we're losing to United. It could be two losses out of three to start the season off. And a squeeze one against Watford. This is unreal. Lads, let's pull a finger out, please. Here's Fran Garcia whipping one in towards Lindstrom. Oh, what a header. Emiliano Martinez is in goal. I definitely think Lissandro has had a word. The butcherer. Can he stop Miranda at the corner? He doesn't need to. Nonto can't even head it down. Oh, but they're slipping through us still. Christian Pulisic, the ex-Chelsea man. They've signed some Premier League ringers. Not a foul. Oh, I thought it was going to get given. And you can tell why Martinez got sold with Unai Emery. Not liking it. Christian Pulisic has put a decent ball towards the back post. It took a header away. As Jaden Sancho now running with the ball. He might sneak in. Meslier off his line. Fantastic save with Miranda picking up on this ball. Into Weston McKenney. He went to go through bodies and he's missed out on the header still. It falls back. McKenney with an angle and what a save. So close to flying in. Corner ball for McKenney still though. That's a free header for Strike. It falls to Garcia. Strike. Someone. No. They cannot attack us. Fran Garcia. This is it. This is it. What a ball across. Now through the middle. That's good. Weston McKenney for a ding. Gets off the crossbar. Headed in from Korea. He's onside as well. For a split second, I thought he might have been off, but no. And Ellen Road is allowed to go to full voice. A fantastic finish and oh, the dink. If only that dink went in, eh? And yes, but Lindstrom now on to Miranda. Could we? Could we before half time? You know, we've been so improved in this second half of the first half. Lindstrom going for that bottom bin that he loves. Did it against United last time, but unfortunate right there. Still, I'm incredibly happy with how it's gone so far. Here is Lindstrom on the ball. Can he just wait to try and whip this in? That's close towards Weston McKenney. He's been so unlucky this game. Here's Nonto. Two men on the deck. Wilfred Nonto. He almost slipped for Correa. Free kick for us. Okay, I had no idea. And it'd be good if I gave Calvin Phillips and he scored. Against his rivals. He's leads through and through. Despite going to City. One of United's rivals. As it's a terrible one. Has a chance to cross. And Weston McKenney looking for Correa at that back stick. Not worked out. Ibanya still to try and keep this alive. Now into strike. A good ball into McKenney. That is a brilliant ball. No, 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 no. You've got to get your head on that. Still, McKenney. It's all leads dominance across the box. Nonto. No. Derby day for the ages so far. Pascal strike. Just drill that down that line. There we go. It's found Edwards. What a good ball it was, Edwards, to put it across to Correa. No, I can't say any other word, but no. And it's not because we're doing bad. It's because his final pass is just unluckily not falling to us. Not that it's a bad pass as well. Look at Garcia go. He's got twinkle toes, this man in the yellow boots. Different gravy. He's still going. He needs a pass. He's found a pass into Nonto. Drill it across this time. It almost went in. They are so far on their backsides, McKenney from a corner, strike off the line again! As Calvin Phillips with the ball, threw on to Lundstrom, keep on going lads, keep on going, both Danes on the field now, Lindstrom linking up with the other one in bar, Alexandra Barr to dink it, handball! We got another, Weston McKenney, that's another decent one, that's rise above, 
Martinez. It's honestly not a surprise anymore. Every shot we have is so close. Bar again, jogging inside. Correa, no. Bajrami into Jonathan David. It's a surprise that we've got the same amount of players because we're all over them, despite not having Oliveira at the back. They've only got the one goal. Don't let them steal it, lads. If we lose this game, I'm absolutely going to break down. I can't believe the chem cut close. How do they get the shot off? McGregor is thrown on. Yes, Ewan McGregor. Calvin Phillips. Pass it through into Correa. One more on. That's it. McKenney. It's been smothered. And a foul given because McGregor... Oh, that actually wasn't a great foul, you know. Still, we carry on. We keep up. That got given as a red card. That got given as a red card. Now we've got 10 men. Well, give that as a red then. If you're going to be fair, give that as a red. A heated rivalry with a red card late on us. There's only one team that's looked like winning it. Only one. They've had a good shot, but that is it. Correa can't even get his pass out of his feet. In a time we want to win the league, they've got a bit of a gap, you know. Here is Pulisic. Pass short. Good save, Medlier. Okay, so we might be lucky not to lose it. Can we run away? Oh, Phillips, the bad pass. And I have no idea how we've drawn. Boost from the Leeds fans. And rightly so. How we ended that with 10 men and without three points. I'm glad McKenney's got a rating increase after that game because I am not happy. Napoli coming in for Tyler Adams. I'm going to reject that one. He will not see his old mate, Mark Rocca. Then players can go out on international duty and just... Do whatever they want. When they come back, they're getting burned. Oh, 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 that surprised me a little bit. The Champions League group ruined it a little bit. Juve, Celtic, and Genk. Okay, all right. I think we should be progressing with Juve. That is, the, I think, what everyone would think. Other groups, that's a difficult one. Man City have just got Atletico. That's too, oh, that's a Red Bull derby. Easy for Bayern. Easy should be for Barca, but Inter's good. Uh, Newcastle in it with Milan and Liverpool. No, of course, United, which you love to see. There's Gyu going out to Brighton. He's got his loan deal still in the Prem. Oh, Meslier approached by our rivals in the group. I like the sneaky tactics, lads. And the same from Arsenal for Fran Garcia. And more bids. Jeez, these are too much. Right, he's going to be going to Paris Saint-Germain's uh, bar. And McKenny's not going to Napoli. And honestly, I don't think we make another signing. It's just them players have got to pull a finger out and kill off games. That's good riddance. Not good riddance. He's actually been okay, but injury prone. Maybe we do have another signing as books, though. Stealing Spartans, other player. Abdul Fatawu Isaku. I think it might be a panic buy, and I think I may panic every time I need to say his name. Say my name. As I don't know his price, but I know his release clause is right there of 41 million. We'll talk to them. So maybe if we offer 30, because the release clauses aren't as good and they're happy. So that's actually got me thinking he might not be high rated. All depends on what squad role he takes. He's going to take rotational. So whatever rating he is, he can sit on the bench with McGregor and Woods. Because, of course, they're good cams. But we did need an Aronson replacement. Someone almost 80 rated. I'm hoping he is. As he is, 80 rated. Okay, overpaid by 2 million, but I will take it. Welcome. That is the player that we needed. With four competitions going on, we need a huge squad. We've got a huge squad. And he sits on that bench for pace when Lindstrom's struggling with his. Look at the team anyway. Hog just needs to get to 80 rated. Same with the Glacias. And this squad. He's doing the quadruple. 